Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Today I want to talk about Ubiquity Unify DHCP address reservations. So Unify routers can use DHCP address reservations to assign a fixed address to a particular MAC address when it appears on your network. On my LexD videos, I encourage a best practice, which is to use DHCP address reservations on all LexD containers. And that centralizes where you do your management of your IP addresses at your router. So in the legacy interface for the Unified Network Controller, they had a section called Insights, and under that they had something called client history and that can be used to manage these DHCP address reservations. In the new interface for the Unify controller, Insights is now renamed to something called Wi-Fi Insights and it only provides a way to manage addresses that are Wi-Fi addresses but no apparent way to manage DHCP address reservations. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the missing requirements for DHCP address reservation management and some things I've run into and some ways around those. So here we are at my Unify OS main screen for uh, Unify OS 3.1 and I'm currently running Unify Network Controller 7.4.162. If we go into the Network Controller and we go over to Clients, you can pick a client on this screen that you might want to take a look at. Let's just say, uh, for example, this uh, public IP proxy client that I have here. And if I go under this settings option, you can see that I have fixed IP address checked off. So there's really no way to tell which of these clients has a fixed IP address other than going into that particular option. We're in the new interface right now. And if I go down to insights, you can see that it's labeled just Wi-Fi insights and are no particular options to be able to do otherwise. Here we are at the legacy interface screen and if I go down to insights it's not labeled Wi-Fi insights but it's rather just labeled insights. If I click on insights there's lots of choices up here uh, past connections and so on but client history is the one that we want to go ahead and take a look at. And if you sort by the fixed IP column here, the ones that show up with a fixed IP address are those things that have DHCP address reservations. And as far as I can tell in the new interface, there's nothing that can list these. However, we sort of have a problem here. And the problem is up here, you can see where it says last 24 hours. Well, typically, let's say that you had a particular DHCP address reservation for a server called test, and let's suppose that server called test has been offline for a long time, but it has a DHCP address reservation, and that's what I refer to as an orphaned node or an orphaned DHCP address reservation you would think you could go down here and choose all to list all of them, but you always get a bad request. And this is a thing that's gone on for some time. We know that they're not gonna go back here and fix this because the um, legacy interface, it says here, is no longer supported. And basically they're looking to deprecate it, but it's been almost four years now that they've been looking to deprecate it. So there kind of is a way around this. You can keep iteratively hitting this thing, going say, give me the last three days instead of the last 24 hours, and you'll still get errors up there. 
But what you can do is you can go into insights and then you can hit the search and let's say we were looking for a server called rocket chat and so I'll just type in rocket and it finds that and if I go up here and say find rocket chat not for the last 24 hours but all iterations of rocket chat and you can see that I have quite a few of these out here since I don't have any fixed addresses next to them except for the one that's in production, I know that there are no orphaned DHCP uh, fixed addresses for it. But that's typically how you would be able to find an orphaned address and be able to delete it. So in other words, for example, this one here that's listed Rocket Chat Brian, if I go into it and click Settings, um, and click network you can see that it has fixed address turned off but we already knew that because there was no address in the fixed IP address column the obvious question is why am I even concerned about this and the answer to that is if I had a particular fixed address that I wanted to keep let's suppose that I created a LexD container a while back for a service called say notes and I um, didn't run the container called notes for I don't know six months or something and then I came up with the new application and I called the container notes as well or I could call it anything else for that matter but I wanted to reuse the same address that notes had had used for some particular reason well I might not be able to find that listing for notes unless I remembered that it was called notes because as we've already shown if I come up here and clear this out and just say hey show me all the client history I don't necessarily get it now in this case notice I did check off rocket chat and then I came back to this all screen and it seemed to have worked and basically it's kind of a stand on one foot type of solution but you can go down here and you can see I have quite a few of these fixed addresses and I might be able to find what we're looking for. However, if we go back to the new interface and we do that by going back to the dashboard and going back to new interface, if we look here again, insights or Wi-Fi insights is just for Wi-Fi. It doesn't manage DHCP address reservations and really doesn't give you any way around that. So if we go into client devices here on this screen, we're not going to be able to list something that's not out there. And as an example, if I type in Rocket, we only have the one Rocket Chat instance that's actually live. The rest of those instances that you saw on the Insight screen from the legacy interface are not listed here because they're not online so how could I find them in order to uh, delete the DHCP address reservation and reuse that address on another device and the answer is that's not really possible so what do I believe really needs to take place well one of the new things that you'll find in the latest network program is this thing called Hotspot Manager and Hotspot Manager lets you manage people that are connected via your Wi-Fi hotspot. Well, what I suggest is I suggest that we have a screen for address management and the address management screen would let you manage both things that have DHCP address reservations as well as managing those things that you've assigned to Unify's local DNS implementation as well. I think we really need a screen for that. As far as I know, there's nothing like that today. If anybody's aware of that, certainly jump out on the chat on uh, chat.scottabyte.com and let me know because I am unaware of any feature that will manage DHCP address reservations at present. So in summary, 
DHCP address reservations managed from the router are a best practice for managing fixed addresses for client and server systems. The insights options in the legacy interface really never worked properly to begin with. In the new network controller interface, orphaned DHCP address reservations cannot be searched for or removed. The Unify network controller really needs a separate address management screen. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time.